Hello and welcome everybody. In this Elden Ring guide I will show you my Knight of Grandsex build that combines extremely deadly ranged attacks effortless with a capable sword and board or in this case rather spear and board playstyle. You can switch on the fly from sniping targets to block counters, powerful shield attacks or block and poke strikes with a great shield. The build does not use any active buffs or spells and just one shield and one weapon but at the same time turns you into a jack of all trades powerhouse that is very adaptive without any hassle. The build can start around level 75 after you have access to the capital city. From that point on you have all the equipment and roughly enough attribute points to make it work. Around level 100 you can switch to the great shield. Before that point you will struggle to have enough points for vigor, endurance and strength at once. But you can start with a medium shield around level 75, more on that later. This build is very strong from mid game to late game and offers enough scaling potential for NG plus and beyond. Depending on the situation at hand you can either swap out the shield or switch between two handing your spear whatever you prefer to access ancient lightning spear one of the most powerful ranged attacks in the game with insane range. With the great shield in your offhand you can then use guard counters to break enemy poise in a very effective way or fall back to the block and poke tactic to deal for example with pesky dogs. On top the shield does not only offer a great amount of protection but also is a deadly weapon on itself that puts even big enemies off balance and features one of the best ashes of war in the game. Let's take a look at the weapons and skills this build utilizes. The weapon in use is of course the mighty Bolt of Grandsax, one of the legendary weapons in Elden Ring and found in the middle of the capital city accessible through an easy to overcome jump challenge. Links to all the weapons and skills as usual in the video description. This is one of the best spears in the game with exceptional range and the deadly ancient lightning ash of war. This skill has insane range and high base damage and can be charged for even more damage. With 25 FP this skill is not exactly cheap but I would say reasonably priced for what it provides. On top the spear deals plus 20% damage against dragons and plus 10% damage against ancient dragons which offsets the often higher lightning resistance these kind of enemies have. Being a spear we also have access to the block and poke mechanic if we use a shield. Speaking of the shield the golden beast crest shield is our great shield of choice for a number of reasons. The bolt of Grandsax already needs you to push strength to 20 and this is a great shield with the lowest strength requirement 24 while also providing 100% physical damage reduction. It also weighs 12.5 kilos which frees some attribute points due to the lower endurance investment. The price for all these benefits is a rather low guard boost for a great shield 67 but we will counter this with one of our talismans which I will explain later in the video. The shield can be obtained early but as mentioned before once you collect the spear around level 50 to 60 you will likely not have enough stat points to make it all work just yet or you are willing to sacrifice a lot of vigor and mind. So around level 75 I would start with the brass shield that saves you some points in strength and endurance and even has a slightly higher guard boost but as a medium shield it does not provide you with the same amount of openings as a great shield. Enemies bounce back from great shields a lot more than from medium shields. It also deals less damage with the attached ash of war. Speaking of Shield Crash is one of the strongest ashes of war in the game and we take full advantage of that. It enables you to expand your toolkit from simple guard counters and block and poke attacks. If you trigger Shield Crash you become invulnerable to physical damage and unstoppable the moment your shield connects to the ground after a very short wind up. Enemy attacks will then deplete your stamina and only if you run completely out of stamina you can be stopped. At the same time the attack deals decent damage on itself, throws most enemies off their feet when the last swing connects 
and only costs 12 FP. You can find this skill immediately after reaching the Altus Plateau. Beyond level 150, you can invest a little more into strength, that will also increase your spear damage, and endurance to incorporate for example the Golden Great Shield, which would fit visually best into this build. And we all know the true endgame is all about maximum style. You can simply enable your ranged attack by swapping out the shield or two-handing your spear, whatever is easier and faster for you. And with just one click you fall back to guard counters, block and poke attacks and hurling enemies off their feet with shield crash. No buffing, no fiddling around with spells or sorting through an arsenal of different weapons. Simple, effective and fast just the way I like it. As a jack of all trades build you do make some sacrifices, like not having a better great shield with a higher guard boost or endless FP to always spam ancient lightning spear. So you have to manage your resources a little more thoughtful, but you do have an extremely versatile and hard hitting toolkit at your disposal in return. Let's take a look at the stats for level 75, 100 and 150. Before reaching level 150 you will have to use a lighter armor and up to some point the brass shield. After level 150 you can upgrade your shield once you obtain enough strength and endurance. Optimal starting class is the Vagabound. Vigor at 48 should provide enough HP for the endgame and early NG+, you might want to take this to 60 at some point. Mind at 24 is enough to use Shield Crash and Ancient Lightning Spear frequently, but not enough to just spam the latter. Another stat you want to increase past level 150. Endurance at 28 is just enough to equip the Golden Beast Crest Shield and an armor set with 51 poise. More is needed for a heavier Great Shield. 24 Strength to access the aforementioned shield. More points here will later also increase the melee damage of your spear and the damage of your shield crash attacks, so a worthwhile stat in NG plus and beyond that allows your damage to further improve in subsequential playthroughs. 80 dexterity to reach the soft cap for your main damage stat, ancient lightning spear purely scales with weapon level and dexterity. The other stats are not relevant for this build. Talismans are the Shard of Alexander for improved Ash of War damage, the Lightning Scorpion Charm for 12% increased lightning damage and the very important Great Shield Talisman. The latter provides 20% reduced stamina costs for blocking and shield crash attacks. This counters the rather low guard boost of the Golden Beast Crest Shield. The last slot depends if you want more protection or more damage. The Godfrey icon further boosts charge ancient lightning attacks, but only those. The Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman on the other hand significantly enhances your physical protection and helps to offset the lightning scorpion charm. I switch between those depending on the enemies at hand or how I choose to tackle the boss fight. If you use a spirit ash for distraction, you can for example easily spam charged lightning attacks from a safe distance. In other fights, you might prefer the higher damage resistance. The Flask of Wondrous Physics is used to further boost your lightning damage and the second slot can be used for more protection, a heal over time or some stamina improvements. At level 150 I use the Gelmir Knight armor set combined with the Knight Helm. This gives me 51 poise and decent all around protection levels. The black and gold of the set works really well with the weapon and shield combination. All in all a very adaptive build that is very easy to manage in stressful situations and provides a lot of damage and utility at the same time. No matter if you're fighting toe to toe or want an easy time killing bosses from across the room while your spirit ash distracts them. I hope you enjoyed this little guile and thank you very much for watching. For more questions or other build suggestions feel free to leave a comment. This is all for now about Elden Ring. Take good care of yourself and enjoy your gaming sessions.